We live in a world filled with visible organizations, with their big corporate offices, recognizable logos and brands, and their many employees. But what about all the other organizations, the ones we don't see, that may not have buildings, that avoid name recognition, and that may even hide their members and clients? These hidden organizations range from terror cells to covert military units, anonymous support groups to global crime networks, cults to secret societies. Some of them hide so that they can avoid accountability for terrible acts. But in other cases, hidden organizations have to be concealed to protect themselves or their members, such as in a shelter for the abused or a covert intelligence operation. Sometimes the motivations for and reactions to the hiding are more complex, as with hacktivist organizations or aspects of the informal economy. My name is Craig Scott. I'm an organizational communication scholar whose work examines how these hidden organizations and their members communicatively manage aspects of their identity. I describe organizations as ranging from transparent to dark, with various degrees of shadedness and shadowness in between based primarily on the visibility of the organization and the extent to which members express their affiliation with the organization to various audiences. More specifically, my work looks at the communicative strategies used for hiding as well as the appropriateness and effectiveness of those concealment efforts. Understanding these issues is vital, especially if it can help us confront organizations whose hidden nature threatens society. Amid calls for greater transparency for what are already visible organizations, we must not overlook the more invisible collectives around us. By understanding the communicative strategies these organizations and their members use to conceal their identities, we can begin to shine some much-needed light on these otherwise hidden organizations.